man, oh man, it feels good to be back behind this microphone. Ladies and gentlemen, have and have not fans, this is Christmas Eve while I'm recording this, so just to kind of give you a heads up, this is going to be both a haves and have, well, technically triple threat, haves and have nots video, of course, talking about different updates <laughs> about what's been going on the past few days, as well as, well, Christmas. So without further ado, I have to say that, number one, I am happy that I'm back in my apartment. Um, I did get a rental, but my mom saw how nice it was, and she wanted it. So I borrowed her car instead, made it back to the apartment safe and sound. A little traffic today, at least until I got into the Lynchburg area, but that was people in shopping malls and everything. I was just trying to get back to the apartment. Um, but disappointingly, you know, it's good that I made it back, thank goodness. But on the bad side... Um, not that I was actually expecting a trailer today because, you know, being Christmas Eve, it would have been a nice gesture by the own network to drop a 60 second trailer. It's 833 while I'm recording this. So I could be, you know, putting my foot in my mouth because, well, you know, maybe they'll drop one at nine or 10. I don't know for sure, but I have low expectations. So I'm scrolling on Facebook. Yeah. I log into Facebook around one. Well, I want to say around noon or one ish today after I got settled back in. And then I saw this particular trailer, which I will play right now. Mark your calendars. They're not going anywhere. Tyler Perry's The Haves and The Have Nots, the season premiere. Tuesday, January 7th, 9, 8 central. Yeah, so the same thing we've been seeing for the past. Has, has it been over a month? Honestly, it feels like it's been over a month since we've been seeing the same 10 to 15 second promo of the same nine characters maybe within the same or different backgrounds like haves and have nots fans they aren't going anywhere season seven kicks off january 7 24 i want to see a dern and i don't want to curse because this is a <laughs> semi christmas video but um i i would really love a trailer but folks i don't think we're getting one until after episode one which i think is a crying shame but i understand but i'm still disappointed so uh, moving on to the title of this video, because people are probably like, dude, come on. Well, what about Hannah? Because I'm pretty sure a lot of you saw the video It is like 18 seconds long. And we've seen one from Hannah, Candace and Benny. Basically, these are behind the scene promo video. Well, excuse me. Behind the scenes cast videos from the 20 December 2018 promo shoot that was going on this time last year for the episodes coming out in 2020 because I've already done half a dozen videos over the past year talking about this. Yeah, man, because Benny actually went on an IG and Instagram story and was like, we're in 2018 working on episodes or 2019 or something like that. And then he's like, and now we're doing promo. No, no, no. It was like yesterday we were doing promos for episodes coming out in 2019 and now today we're doing promos for episodes coming out in 2020 so he actually said that that was like a something he said last december but in any case i'm going to play this clip by hannah and i can base after you watch the clip you'll see why people are kind of like uh, i wouldn't say upset but concerned thank you Thank you for a life-changing experience and receiving a gift that I feel like God gave me with your whole heart. I surely gave you mine. First of all, Crystal, I mean, oh man, Crystal Fox, if she isn't Hannah in real life, just her spirit, I, I, she's the kind of person where if I ever got the opportunity to meet her, the first thing I want to do is give her a big hug because she definitely seems like a sweetheart. Um, you know, this was the clip that was released a few days ago, pretty much, you know, her thanking the fans and a lot of people instantly thought, oh my God, is, is Crystal, is Hannah leaving the show? Is season seven, her last season, what's going on? Now, if we go back to around... I want to say 
October of last year. It was when they were doing the filming of season seven and Tinka and Crystal were in this photo, well, photos, um, and the caption was pretty emotional, like, oh my gosh, it's like, this is this it? Is Hannah leaving? Is Tinka Sumner leaving? But it was actually stated, you know, Crystal pretty much, you know, confirmed, like, hey, it's just because in terms of the next season of episodes we've, we've been filming, some cast members have finished shooting what they needed to shoot. So now they're going off, you know, they're leaving Atlanta to work on other projects, I forgot what movie Tinka Sumner was. It was like The Man and the Umbrella. Or something. It, it was a movie she was in. So it was like she was filming, but then she was off, you know, promoting that movie. And then I've already done the video talking about how uh, John Snyder, you know, he was filming, but that was happening at the same time as him on Dancing with the Stars. So obviously, you know, he filmed his stuff and got it done. And he was only seen in like a couple of group shots with the other cast members. And that was usually when they were at, you know, dinner or something after the day's filming. So really, it was something that sparked conversation. Of course, I did videos on it because people were blowing up my inbox with it. But I think that this was just a heartfelt message from the fans because the show's been on. For over six years. Well, I mean, if you go back to when this was filmed, you know, in terms of the behind the scene photo shoots and everything, that was 2018. So the show was on for like five years. So and that's nothing to, uh, you know, downplay. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to play the clips from both Benny and Can well, Candace and Benny. And it wouldn't surprise me if we eventually get clips from the rest of the main cast, like the Harringtons and the Criers. I would like to say to the fans, thank you so much for always sticking with us and being um, curious about every aspect of our show and being loyal and following us wherever we go. And, and thank you for, thank you for sticking with Candace, man, cause she's hectic. Her life is crazy and you guys loved her from the beginning. So I just want to say thank you. I love you guys so much. Uh, I have a lot I want to say to the fans, but the main thing is thank you. Um, you guys make this show what it is every Tuesday, and you guys have been tuning in, supporting us for all these uh, all these seasons and all these years. So it's been a fun ride. I love y'all. Yeah, so as you can see, it's pretty much, you know, the cast just thanking everyone for rocking with the show for this long. Not going to lie. Candace sounds pretty straight. Well, excuse me. Tinka sounds pretty straightforward. Thanks for, you know, hanging in there, looking at every detail of the show. I feel like I'm lumped into that group. You know, I ain't toot my own horn, but I feel like me and a lot of other people like myself who are addicts of the show definitely take note of every single aspect of the series. So that was like that was a nice, you know, nod to, you know, us having have not addicts. <laughs> but uh, Benny's definitely sounded like, whoa, 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 hold up, man. Is this really the end? But keep in mind one thing this once I'm going to keep harping on this. These behind the scene videos were made back in December 2018. This was before number one, they announced the season eight and number two, they announced the season nine. So season seven could have been a really, there is nothing in, there is nothing in writing about this, but if you go back on my, what was it? HAHN discussions playlist. I've already done plenty of videos about, um, Tyler Lepley doing interviews. I think it was that, uh, was it the, what was that channel? Was it the TV one movie he was in? Cause Lucian from if loving you was wrong, was in it too. It was like, he was a college TA, like a teaching assistant. He was sort of dating one of the students who actually their mother and Tyler's character had a weekend together or something like that. But in any case, in the interview for that movie promotion, he actually brought up the haves and the have nots, you know, like everyone's on their ninth life and, you know, it's going to be, everybody's going to die. It almost felt like Avengers Infinity War or any game. It's like, everybody's going to die. So that really made me go, whoa, is the show ending? But once again, this was before we all got the public announcement about season eight, season nine. So we don't know. I don't know. I don't know. But in any case, um, it seems like the cast obviously have a lot of love for us who support them. And of course we love them for doing what they do, even if we don't like what the characters are always up to we love tuning in tuesday nights and yeah it's christmas eve where i'm recording this so two weeks from now we will be anticipating episode one of season seven even though i wish we still got a trailer so with that being said folks 
as far as I can tell, um, and I could be wrong, guys, because they did do season seven reshoots. They filmed season eight. They have yet to film season nine. But from what we can tell, you know, the show's still going strong. The fact that they keep harping on they're not going anywhere, I think, is a reference to the show not leaving the own network and none of the main cast dying anytime soon, which I do think is a bit weird how you call this the deadliest season. But I've done plenty of videos talking about all those different taglines of what season seven is supposed to be. So let me know your thoughts in the comments section below. Uh, did you get the did you get, I guess you could say, uh, finale vibes from this? Like, oh, my God, is this the final season? It definitely feels like it. As far as I can tell, guys, no, this is not the final season. I think it was definitely a moment where the cast and they really do feel like a family on set, off camera, behind the scenes, whatever you want to call it. And um, it was just a great moment where and I believe it was Renee Lawless uh, birthday during the, you know, photo shoot and everything. So I remember they had like a little a, a party or something like that behind this camera with the cake and the champagne and whatnot so it was a good time but overall i can't wait to hear what the rest of the cast have to say uh, what david veronica jeffrey wyatt Catherine, and jim about you know um their journey i would love like a documentary or something like that it doesn't have to be like three hours long even though i would i, I would watch a six hour haves and have nots documentary it's like i sat through avengers endgame that was nothing compared to how long i would sit through a behind the scenes exclusive look at the haves and the have nots like i mean the show has passed 100 uh, what is it past 150 by i could be wrong guys my math i'm not looking at a list of episodes but i feel like the show's been going on for a while have we passed 150 it wouldn't surprise me if we have um this show's been on five years strong. Number one show on own since it's been out. I would love to have like, you know, just to sit down with the cast and talk with them. And I'm talking like cast who are still on the show, cast who uh, were written off, killed off, whatever the situation is, because everyone has their own stories. And I would love to hear how they first got the job or how their character, some characters who were only meant to be one or two episode characters came back for a bigger role. And just the journey itself, this is not anything we should just, you know, downplay because this show really is a hit. Sure, it might not be on the same level as it was during the earlier seasons where, you know, when it was trending, like the haves and the have nots. Remember, that's what the original hashtag was before it was shortened to H-A-H-N, like the haves and the have nots. And you would have several characters trending on the same night. Uh, you know, during an episode, because it really, I mean, Tuesday nights didn't have that much competition compared to now, but at the same time, it was definitely the event. I was finishing up college, and then I started at the call center, and man, oh man, good times, good times. But without further ado, you've already heard my spiel about the haves and the have nots, so now it's time to go over like some brief announcements and things like that. So once again, if you want to click off the video, feel free to do so, but if you want to hear about what's coming up, I would definitely suggest tuning in. But Hit that subscribe button if you're new. Give this video a thumbs up. Comment your thoughts on whether or not Season 7 is the last season. But to be honest, based off the case I just presented to you, I really hope you don't think it's the final season. But once again, hey, I could be completely wrong. They might end up switching things around before <laughs> Season 7 is through. I don't know. But at the same time, I just feel like um, I just think that the show is still going strong. It's still great. Sure, it's different than it was before, but it has been on for some years. And it's been quite a ride. All right. Well, first off, like I said before, I'm back in my apartment. Uh, my car should be fixed either early to mid next week. It's just, just it's just a matter of with Christmas, New Year's, a lot of these places closing early, then being closed for the holiday themselves. And, you know, the postal system, you know, some things had to be um, shipped in from North Carolina. But if you saw the post on my community tab, the car is fine so to speak, like there was no internal damage under the hood. Um, it drives perfectly fine. It's just a matter of the headlight on the driver's side being busted, the hood having a huge dent in it, and then my bumper and license plate kind of being banged up. But if you didn't see my post, uh, what was it? It was 1.47 a.m. on Friday morning. And I was going home briefly, you know, I was going to go home and stay until maybe Saturday or Sunday. I just had to pick up my extra TV to put in the living room at the apartment because we're having like a Christmas dinner tomorrow for some uh, friends. So it's just a good way to kind of change things up for the holiday. And if you saw my other video, it's like, yeah, I'm not going to be home for Christmas because, well, uh, 
I just want to do something different. Plus, everyone is going back to work on the 26th, so I figured I'll just come back home the weekend of Christmas and possibly stay past New Year's, whatever the situation is. But at the same time, you know, I kept saying to myself, Jeremy, it's like after you hit 100K, let's kind of ch- let, let's be more social. Let's not just be a workaholic. We've reached the main goal. That doesn't mean we don't have uh, I don't have other goals to reach, but it would be nice to kind of mingle, meet new people, that kind of thing. But 147, I'm going 15 miles an hour because home is 55 minutes away from my apartment. So I live in like the backwoods. It's like deer county, if you will. I saw like eight deers that night or that morning, whatever had no problem you know i stopped the car crossed the street saw him on the sides of the road whatever as i am maybe six minutes from my parents house there is a buck that came hurtling over a bank or hill whatever you want to call it and it landed directly on my hood this was a buck that was running this wasn't one of those well jeremy didn't you see it no because it literally just ran out of the darkness hopped over the bank landed on my hood ungracefully or if, I don't even know if that's the word, but unceremoniously it landed on my hood like it was a darn reindeer landing on someone's roof with Santa's sleigh. It landed on the hood, fell over, and then it kind of, you know, like broke, I think the front hoof like broke my headlight and then, you know, the impact of the deer landing on the hood caused the dent and then it hit my bumper and it kind of like staggered. And I was going 15 miles an hour, folks. Had my seatbelt on, don't worry. So, of course, being deer count, I don't go that fast. I don't even go like 20 miles in that area. So, yeah, 15 miles an hour. The deer land staggers, falls into a, the ditch that had a pile of leaves. It was flailing around. Then it got up and ran off. So, as far as I know, it was alive in that moment. But I don't know and I don't really care. Whatever. So, I, I'm, I'm, I'm shaking, not stirred. <laughs> but, um, you know, I was physically okay. My nerves were a little messed up but i was more annoyed than anything else because my first instinct is okay i finally hit a hundred thousand and now this happens now it's going to drain my bank account but then my mom is like look, look, look you did everything you were supposed to do you weren't speeding you had your seatbelt on you had your fall lights and everything on you didn't swerve out of the road you're okay and plus our insurance will cover it so yeah i'm the kind of person i hate messing up so even though technically there was nothing i could do in that situation like i said the deer literally just bolted out of the woods across a bank that was obviously <laughs> above my car or, you know, what, what do you call it? Peripheral or vision, whatever or perspective. So I couldn't even see it even if I, you know, whatever, but being the holiday season and coming from a small town, rentals were hard to come by. I finally got a truck. My mom, she wanted the truck. And then I got a car today, came back to my apartment. Mind you, I only had like supplies, if you will, for only a couple of days. So I stayed at home for almost five days with barely anything. My microphone and all were here. So I finally get back today, got laundry done, fresh shower, shave. I feel better. So when the car is back, obviously I want to feel a lot better because I love my car, my car. And um, yeah, so that's where I'm at right now. I'll be going home. I might go home later this week or this weekend or something, mainly because, you know, what's wrong with having two Christmas dinners? Am I right? Am I right? And uh, yeah, so I'm okay. Just it, it kind of set me back. But maybe I was guy like, yo, you need a thick break. No need of pumping videos left and right because the shows are off for three weeks you know ambition season one is over sisters and the oval is off until january the 8th which is the day after the haves and have nots return and this is the part where you know i've already given you my auto update now it's time to give you the other announcements number one when the haves and the have nots comes back the show will take priority yes i understand there are sisters and oval fans on the channel but based off a poll i did uh, a few days ago safe to say people want the haves and the have nots more than anything else and i don't blame it it's been over well excuse me it will have been six months since the show's been off the air the fact that the title of the channel is the haves and the have nots review but over the past well six months i've been reviewing a lot of other shows and i've had fun with it but i'm not going to completely neglect the oval and sisters just to let you know right now but at the same time they will not be priority those shows got videos because well the haves and the have nots weren't on so, just so you know, when the haves and the have-nots comes on, I'm going to be going back to the basics. Episode review, trailer breakdown, discussion theory videos, and the works. I'll try to do more live streams, because like I've been saying time and time again, I have plenty of video ideas. Well, excuse me, not video ideas, but other ideas I want to get going. Patreon, putting my audio files on Spotify, whatever the situation is, just because I want to have 
more I want my viewers to have more accessibility to what I do and I once again being at home without the microphone and everything I had my notebook and a pen so I, I was writing out ideas for ooh I could do different patreon tiers here's what I offer on each tier I'll do my giveaways there a monthly giveaways um, then on Spotify I'll set up a fresh account then you know I'll put this and that so I, 2020 is gonna be a, a time of growth and I'm happy about that so just to kind of give you a sneak peek once I have everything finalized of course I will do everything I can to let everyone know what's going on so and you're probably wondering well Jeremy you haven't said much about 100k again it hasn't really the deer kind of you know kill that mood if you will because YouTube has yet to send me my notification uh, I did chat them last night B basically it's like within a week of hitting a hundred thousand they review your channel and then once they confirm everything is good to go they bump your channel to the silver level and then they send you the redemption code for the plaque chat at someone they don't know why it hasn't happened yet and they sent this to like a higher party whatever I don't know I want to chat them later tonight assuming they're open but um basically i'm like okay y'all ain't playing with me i'm getting this plaque because the plaque is what's holding my giveaway back you know the giveaway where i do the 100 dollars walmart cards when i say 100 i mean five 20 dollars gift cards and the dvds so don't worry it's not like jeremy don't worry about the cars because your car no 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 remember insurance take care of that i still i'm good so i will get the walmart gift cards probably you know next week sometime or this weekend i'll, I'll get them but yeah once everything is you know pretty much lined up I will let you all know if there are any have and have not updates feel free to let me know links to my social media are in the description below best way definitely the best way either tweet me or DM me on Instagram and um, yeah and I have a list uh, once again aside from patreon and everything I did a list of video ideas I have about 20 video ideas between now and when the haves and the have nots returns I'm talking ambition videos oval sisters and just happen have nots and other things in general so don't worry there'll be plenty of content coming to the channel soon but with that being said i wish everyone a safe and happy well happy holiday in case you don't celebrate christmas uh merry christmas to those who celebrate christmas i hope you have a good time with your friends and loved ones and um yeah just enjoy this time off of work and school and if you go back to work on thursday sorry that really sucks but at the same time i hope you eat well have a lot of fun and uh have a great remainder of the decade 2019 is coming to a close like this time next week it will be new year's eve so man time is flying by but look at it this way we're one step closer to the haves and the have nots returning to our screen so i'm not holding my breath on a 60 second trailer i still would really love one but hey if we don't get one we don't get one so once again guys thanks so much for tuning in um you know with it being christmas i might record a video right after this one to post tomorrow if not that's completely fine this video is long enough as it is and uh let me know do you have any video ideas uh, i actually have a few videos i want to do like um a video about the game getting an hour long reboot on the cw um david makes man season two still don't know how that show gets a season two with those awful ratings uh Cher cherish the day that was a little teaser promo for that series allegedly house of pain is coming back to bet plus so that should be interesting and i have other things to talk about so yeah be on the lookout hit that notification bell so you don't miss out thank you all so much for helping me reach a 100,000. trust and believe i will celebrate soon i just i, I just you know you got to make it one step at a time right now i feel like once i get my car back i'll definitely be happy you know, plus I got paid yesterday, paid bills and everything. So honestly, there really isn't anything I want to buy. Let, let me just put it that way for myself. But 100000 for me, long-term goal being reached, that's a gift in itself. So once again, hope everyone has a wonderful holiday, and I will talk to you all soon.